cool. So I want to. There's this track that I really love, and it's got a brilliant intro. Just have a listen to it. Brilliant um, intro. So if we wanted to start using that, we'd need to get that as a file. Um, obviously there's, there's all sorts of ways you can get sound off of YouTube, YouTube downloaders and things. Um, you might even have an MP3 at home. I think I've got it as an MP3 in here somewhere. Yeah, there it is. Oh, it's a bit loud. So there might be a track that you've got that you really want to start chopping up with the sampler and making into a new song. Um, one thing that we should notice is that if I try and drag and drop that, nothing happens. <laughs> The problem is, is that Contact can't play MP3s. It can play WAVs and AIFs, but it, it can't do compressed audio formats. So we need to do one thing first. What I'm going to do is pick up the MP3 and just drop it into Logic. The reason I'm doing that is, as you can see, Logic can't play MP3s either. So what Logic does is it converts it to a WAV or an AIF first. Cool. So that's now in there. I don't think you can drag and drop a region, but what we can do is if we go to our audio bin here by clicking the, the button, there it is, and if I pick it up by its name there, .aif, just pick up that and drop it in, it creates a, a sample. So the key point there is that contact doesn't play MP3s. You have to convert it from MP3 into a um, a WAV or an AIF. Is that and, the same for most yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, and the quickest and easiest way of converting it is just drag and drop it into Logic, and it will do it automatically. Same for Ableton. Probably same for most DAWs as well. Great. So now we've got it as a sampler. Let's press a key. Cool, so it's playing back. What I want to do is start to chop it up and have different parts of the phrase on different keys so I can kind of do like a little remix of it. So I'm going to click on the spanner. We know we're playing around with the mapping editor, that's all the way across the keyboard there. What I want to do is have a look at the wave editor. So let's click the wave editor next, I can turn the mapping editor off and the wave editor is fairly familiar to us there, we've got the waveform of the whole track from start to end and we also have these two little start and end flags there and you can pick those up and drag them so and there's zooms just in here so let's drag it back to the beginning and keep zooming in. Notice there's a bit of a gap there, so when I press a key, we don't get an in instant sound. That's no good. I'm not going to be able to do much rhythmical um, programming like that. So let's grab the start point so that it starts dead on. That's cool. And you can start to play around with it and you can hear obviously that's where hip-hop production really you, you see that kind of form of production taking a loop and then chopping it up into little bits um, maybe I'll just have that first phrase oh there's a bit of a click let's zoom in a bit more and perhaps bring that back that's better. Cool. So 
If we go to our mapping editor, at the moment that's all across the keyboard. Sounds a bit uh, crap played like that. Let's make it just so it's on one key. So I'm going to scroll to the left, drag it, just so it's on one key. And I'm going to right click or, or control click. And I'm going to duplicate this zone. It's called a zone. The little box is a sample zone. So duplicate zone. It looks like nothing happens, but actually, if you click away and pick up, drag and drop, you'll see there's two now. So, got one there on C and a copy of it on D. I'm going to double click on that D. Notice when you double click, it jumps to the wave editor. And if you double click from the wave editor, it jumps to the mapping editor. It's just a quick way of getting from one to the other. This time, let's make that start an endpoint. So C is now the first one, and then and then maybe let's go back to the mapping editor. Let's make a copy of that one. So right click or control click. Duplicate zone, pick it up and drag it to the next key along. And then let's double click on the new one to go in to edit it. Zoom in a little bit. Oh, sometimes the zoom goes a bit weird like that. Uh, let's drag that and let's go to the next part of the phrase and play it back. And you can see that you really can start to mess around with that. Let's do it one more time just so we've got it down. So in the mapping editor, choose a zone, right click, duplicate, drag it to the next key along, double click, we'll take you back into the editor but we're editing that particular zone. And then Maybe there's something a bit further up with a bit of vocal in. Uh, what does this bit sound like? Interesting. quite a nice bit with the strings in the background. Cool, I like that. That's enough to play with. So we've, we've got that. We can close contact and we can start to jam and maybe record a bit in. It's just MIDI which is nice. So what speed do we want to do? Let's slow it down and get the click on. bit quicker. Remember we have to match the tempos now to try and get it roughly. <coughs> That's kind of about right, 80 BPM. So let's record a bit in. <coughs> Two, three, four. So you can see like messing around quickly brings up a little idea. It might need a bit of quantizing 
But because it's MIDI, we can just have the part selected, choose maybe eighth note quantize. It's pretty good. Maybe we load up some. drums to go with it. Interesting. Again, it's a bit badly played. We could probably quantize it. Maybe a bit of a swing quantize. Oh, I don't like that. But you get the idea. So. It's the kind of thing in that if you're doing it with a hardware sampler, it takes ages, but contact, because it's graphical, drag and drop, you can shift the points around, it's, it's really fast. So drag your sound in, and the key thing is using the wave editor to choose little selections. And what we were doing was, in the mapping editor, just duplicating each little zone, moving it to another key, so we can have different sample slice points. I'll put this up on uh, Community, so you can um, download it if you wanted to try messing around with that loop. Um, I'll do that now. <laughs> 